afternoon boys and girls it is almost the end of the school day so i'm going to share with you a story and it's by one of my favorite authors an author is someone who writes the stories and that is julia donaldson and this book is called charlie cook's favorite book you might have already read it so i'm going to share this with you this afternoon so you need to use your listening ears your looking eyes to look at me and listen to this story. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Charlie Cook who curled up in a cosy chair and read his favourite book about a leaky pirate ship which very nearly sank and a pirate chief who got the blame and had to walk the plank. The chief swam to an island and went digging with his hook. At last he found a treasure chest and in it was a book. About a girl called Goldilocks. That was our story this week. And three indignant bears. Who cried, who's had our porridge? Who's been sitting? on our chair. They went into the bedroom and baby bear said, look, she's in my bed and what is more, she's got my favourite book. About Sir Percy Pilkington, a bold and fearless knight, who told the dragon, wait, I'm not quite ready for the fight. You must hear this one first. And then his armour clanked and shook. Ho, ho, he, he, as he read aloud a joke he'd found inside his favourite book. About Rowena read a lot, a very well-read frog, who jumped upon a lily pad and jumped upon a log, then jumped into the library, which stood beside the brook, and went, read it, read it, read it, as she jumped upon a book. About an oak tree full of birds, each, per each bird had built a nest and they had a competition to decide which one's the best. They chose an owl to judge it and the winner was a rook whose nest was lined with pages from his very favourite book. About a girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky, some small green men were in it and they waved as they flew by. She tugged her mother's sleeve and said, look, mum, what I've just seen. But mum said, hush, I'm trying to read my favourite magazine. About a wicked jewel thief who stole the king's best crown, but then got stuck behind some sheep, which slowed his car right down. The king down 999 and soon the cops had caught the crook and flung him into prison where he read his favourite book. About a greedy crocodile who got fed up with fish and went on land to try and find some other kind of dish. He went into a bookshop and he there grew even greedier. While, while reading on page 90 of a large encyclopedia. About the biggest birthday cake the world had ever seen. A team of royal cake makers had made it for the Queen. The cake was so delicious that a famous spaceman took a slice of it to Jupiter. He also took a book. About a ghost who glided round a castle every night carrying her head and giving everyone a fright. She kept it up till morning, then she found a shady nook and put her head back on again to read her favourite book. I can't turn the page. About a cosy armchair and a boy called Charlie. I hope you enjoyed that story, boys and girls. I love that story. Right, can you show me your waving hand for our goodbye song, please? Goodbye, everyone, it's time to go. Goodbye, everyone, it's time to go.
Goodbye everyone, it's time to go. We'll see you again tomorrow and we'll end the day with our class prayer. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you God for everything. Amen. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.